Two people, same age, equally bright. But this one earns less, is overqualified for their job, works part-time, and chances are they won't get to the top because this one is a woman. Welcome to The Gap. Wasn't this sorted back in 1970 with the Equal Pay Act? It turns out the gap's more complex than that. The gap is in who works in which jobs. You can't pay a woman less than a man for the same job, but the bigger problem is that what's seen as women's work is undervalued. Think chefs versus cooks. In cleaning, caring, retail, admin, wages are low, skills aren't valued. And who works here? Mainly women. The gap is in status. Jobs with power and long hours are seen as men's work. Mm -hmm. Women get passed over for promotion. The gap is in roles. Women still do a lot more at home. Childcare is extortionate, so women get stuck in part-time jobs, paid less per hour, doing undervalued work. The gap starts early. At school, girls and boys are funneled into different subjects. Children are told how they're supposed to be. Even toddlers get different toys. And if a woman leaps over the gap, chances are she'll be surrounded by men, thinking, what the hell is she doing here? The gap means that on average, over a lifetime, a woman in Scotland gets paid over £400,000 less than a man. The gap harms women, men and Scotland's economy. It has to close and we can do it. Employers can offer flexible working. Government can make childcare affordable. Schools can help girls and boys explore their options. And social attitudes can change. It's up to all of us to close the gap. To find out how, go to closethegap.org.uk.